Now, as howling winds echo across the snow-covered reaches of the wild northwest, the Quaker Oats Company, makers of Quaker Pop Wheat and Quaker Pop Rice, the delicious cereal shot from guns, in cooperation with the Mutual Broadcasting System, present by special recording, Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. It's Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog of the Northwest. Breaking the trail for Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police in his relentless pursuit of lawbreakers. And King! On you, Husky! <laughs> gold, gold discovered in the Yukon. A stampede to the Klondike in the wild race for riches. Back to the days of the gold rush. And the adventures of Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, Yukon King, as they meet the challenge of the Yukon. Our adventure will begin in just a moment. Remember that old adage, a penny saved is a penny earned... Well, I'd like to bring it up to date by saying that a penny saved is more than a penny earned when your money's in United States savings bonds. Much more. Series E savings bonds, you know, pay back $4 at maturity for every three you put in, and even more when you hold them longer. Think of all the wonderful dreams that could become realities. Perhaps a trip to some faraway place, that second family car, a home in the country, the things you've always wanted but never could quite afford. Well, you can afford them when you save for them by buying United States savings bonds on a regular basis. Whether you buy them where you work on the payroll savings plan or whether you buy them through your bank, either way, bonds bring you one step closer to the realization of those long-cherished dreams. Remember, you'll enjoy tomorrow more if you plan for today. Buy United States savings bonds. This message is brought to you as a public service. It was mid-afternoon when Jim Lafferty came out of the White Falls Cafe. He was accompanied by a small, self-effacing man known as Swamper Grundy. Lafferty was the constable of White Falls, and one of the few men in whom Sergeant Preston had implicit confidence. Why are you taking me to your house, Constable? I could take you to the office, Swamper, but my home's closer. I'm making out some reports, and I'll need statements from you. What about? You were the one who reported that Curly Taggart was in White Falls. That's right. I saw the critter in the cafe. I told Sergeant Preston about it. He wants me to send a report to Dawson. Where is Sergeant Preston? He went to Dawson for a day or so. Why didn't he arrest Curly Taggart? If Taggart leaves town, he'll be followed. We've made arrangements for that. But I thought Preston wanted Taggart. Last time he was at the boarding house, he told Ma Ogden he'd give a year's pay to capture Curly Taggart. He meant that he wanted to capture Taggart with evidence to convict him. <laughs> Everyone knows Taggart's a crook and the leader of the gang. Uh, knowing it and proving it in court are two different things. Wasn't the bank in Dawson robbed by Taggart's gang? Sergeant Preston thinks those thieves were working for Taggart. He went to Dawson in the hope of getting details about the stolen cash. I heard the sergeant was in Dawson at the time of the robbery. He was. He and King nearly captured the thieves. In fact, King got a grip on one, but another knocked the dog out with a gun barrel. And one slugged Preston from behind. That's how the crooks escaped. No wonder the sergeant's so eager, eager to jail that particular gang. Now, here's my place. Come on, we'll go through the backyard. All right. Uh, hey, hey, come to the lab, What's wrong, Swamper? There, there, there's a big dog over there in the room. <laughs> of course there is. Sergeant Preston left King with me while he went to Dawson. Yes. Is that King? Sure is. Oh, what's wrong with you? You're hanging back like that dog had the plague. He won't hurt you if you come through the yard. Well, I, I don't know about that. I, I, I'm afraid of dogs. You can't get out of the run until I let him out. Come on, Swamper. There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, I, I am afraid, and for a good cause. Dogs snarl and growl and, and want to bite me. That's because you're afraid, and they know it. When a man's afraid, he gives off a scent that makes dogs angry. Yeah. If you can learn that dogs are friends, you'll not be afraid. Then dogs will treat you differently. Come along now. Gosh, he's, he's a mighty handsome-looking dog. Do you want to go over to the run and get a good look at him? Well, would you go with me? Sure, come on. Oh, 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 oh,
Sally. He's bugging me. I feel oh. simply saying hello. Uh, are, are you sure he won't bite me? Of course I'm sure. He's a friend, Swampler. Hello there, kid. Oh, 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 oh. I'll let you out of the dog run so you can meet a friend of mine. There you are, fella. Shake hands with Swamper Grunt. He's holding out his paw. Take it, Swamp. He, he doesn't snarl or, or growl at me. Why should he? Look, look, he's let me hold his paw. God, King, you're the first dog that's ever been friendly. You see, Swamper, there's no reason to be afraid of dogs. King, you're the most wonderful dog I ever saw. I wish I had a steak bone for you. Oh, he wouldn't take food from you, Swamper. If you want to do something for him, bring him inside and brush his coat. Uh -huh. He likes that. Well, will, he, will he come inside with us? Sergeant Preston's trained him to heal. He'll walk right beside us if I give the word. Golly, I heard he was smart, and it sure is too. <laughs> he seems to like me too, Constable. <laughs> he knows you're a friend. Come on. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Neither Swamper nor the Constable suspected that Curly Taggart was nearby with a loaded rifle, intent on shooting the great dog, King. Taggart came from behind some buildings across the street from the Constable's house and moved to a position so he could see the dog standing at the open door of the constable's home. He brought the rifle to his shoulder. He was about to fire when Swamper Grundy saw him and cried out, It's Taggart! Yeah. He's going to shoot! Look out! <laughs> King dodged and charged a split second before Taggart fired his rifle. The bullet brushed the fur of the great dog's back. Taggart knew there was no time for a second shot. He tried to use his rifle as a club, but King dodged and then leaped with the force of a battering ram. Taggart stumbled and fell. He tried to draw a knife, but King seized his wrist and jaws of it like a vice. Good work, King. It's all right, boy. I haven't covered. Taggart was going to kill him. Let me add that joke. Let me deal with Taggart. Steady, Swamper. You too, King. Down, boy. I don't you be shot. That's only your opinion, Taggart. Get up. I'll take that knife. You have some explaining to do. Why were you trying to shoot King? He's vicious. He once tried to kill me. King's never tried to kill anyone. Could it be that you knew the dog could identify one of the men who robbed the bank in Dawson? Hey, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't expect you to admit it. Come along, Taggart. Where to? Jail. You can't jail me for taking a shot at that dog. No, well, I'm going to. It was attempted murder. That's what it was. I'm holding you until Sergeant Preston returns. Let's say I'm holding you for investigation or on suspicion of robbing the Dawson Bank. I didn't have a hand in that. No one can prove it did. Get going. No, I won't do it. I'll keep that dog away from me. He'll not bother you in jail. It was mid-afternoon of the following day when Sergeant Preston returned from Dawson and went directly to the office of Constable Lafferty. King was there to meet him. Oh, glad to see you, huh, Sergeant? I'm glad to see him. I've missed you, big fellow. There now, boy, take it easy. I've only been gone a couple of days. Well, it sounds like King's trying to tell you about his narrow escape. Narrow escape? Quiet, King. Calm down. Curly Taggart took a shot at you, dog. He did? King and Swamper Grundy were at my house. Taggart came from behind a shed and sighted a rifle. King charged so quickly that Taggart missed. I locked him up. Is he in jail now? Yes. You mean to say he shot at King while you were right there to see it? That's what he did. He must have been desperate. Surely he knew he'd be in a bad spot if he killed your dog. There can be only one answer to such a move. What's that? Taggart must think he's in a more dangerous spot with King alive than he'd be in if he shot my dog. Mm -hmm. I told you, Lafferty, that King could identify at least one member of Taggart's gang. The man he nearly caught at the Dawson bank robbery? Yes. Taggart probably fears that if one of his men's caught, he'll squeal on the others and give us evidence to put Taggart himself in jail for keeps. Well, Taggart's in jail right now. Yes, but it can't be how long. How did you make out in Dawson? I have the numbers of some of the paper money that was stolen. If it's found, it can be identified. I'd sure like to see you make a case against Taggart. If I could locate that gang. No idea where the hideout is? Not the slightest. Sergeant, if Taggart is kept in jail, perhaps some of his men will hear about it and come here to break them out. If we were watching, we could capture them. Maybe find stolen money that could be identified. No, Lafferty, it wouldn't work. Taggart knows King can identify one and possibly more of his gang. He's probably given his men strict orders to stay out of town as long as King and I are here. 
There must be some way to outsmart that crook. There must be. If we could only find it, I... What were you going to say? I may have an idea. Lafferty, did you say that Swamper Grundy was with King? Yes. He's always been afraid of dogs. That's right. But King won him over. He thinks King is the most wonderful thing on four legs. I wonder if I might count on Swamper to help me. Oh, he'd give you his right arm if you wanted it. He thinks a lot of you, Sergeant. Does he still live at Ma Ogden's boarding house? Yes. I'm going to talk to Ma. If she'll cooperate, I'll talk to Swamper. With both of them helping, we may get the goods on the Taggart gang. King, <laughs> want to take a walk to call on Ma Ogden? <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Come along, boy. <laughs> Ma Ogden was a genial, pleasant-faced woman of middle age who ran a boarding house in White Falls. She was hearty in her welcome of both King and Sergeant Preston. Yes, sir, it's mighty good to see you both. Oh, thanks, Ma. It's good to see you. <laughs> I have a tough assignment. I'd like to count on your help. Well, you know you can count on me, Sergeant. Sakes alive, lad. If there's anything I can do, you've only got to say the word. I want your help and the help of Swamper Grundy. I knew I could count on you, and I'm equally sure of him. Now, here's what I want you to We'll continue our adventure in just a moment. He did it! A home run! And the home team wins the game! Are you kids there? Are you seeing the exciting homers that your home team makes? Win or lose, there's nothing like the fun of a baseball game. The hot dogs, the popcorn, seeing star players in person. Come out to the ball game now as guest of a major or minor league team. Your free ticket is waiting for you right inside packages of Quaker Puff wheat, Quaker Puff rice, Muffet shredded wheat, Quaker Packle 10, which has two free baseball tickets. Yes, if you are 12 years or younger, just bring mom or dad or another paying adult relative and see a wonderful major or minor league baseball game free. Names of teams and dates are on every ticket. Hurry, get a free baseball ticket package of Quaker Puff Wheat or Rice, Muffet Shredded Wheat, or Quaker Packo 10. Remember, the more packages of these delicious Quaker cereals you get, the more free baseball tickets you get. Now to continue. Sergeant Preston talked in a low voice while the widow listened carefully and nodded from time to time. When he had finished and thanked the woman for her promise to aid him, the Mountie spent an hour with Swamper Grundy. Then he returned to the constable's office and told Lafferty his plan. Lafferty listened, chuckled, and agreed that the plan to trap Curly Taggart might be successful. That evening, Lafferty took food to the jail for Taggart. Your supper, Taggart. I don't want it. Where's Preston? When is he coming back to town? He's back. Well, then why doesn't he come here? Oh, he's in no hurry to talk to you, Taggart. I told him how you tried to shoot his dog. He figures you should spend a long time in jail for huh? that. This isn't right. Let me out of here. Where's the justice in this town? You can't treat me like this, neither can Preston. For all you know, my rifle went off by accident. It's up to you to prove otherwise. I said prove otherwise, beyond a shadow of doubt. Quiet down, Taggart. I hear someone outside. Oh, dog. It sounded like King. King, you wait outside. That's Preston. That looks like he's arrested Swamper. Go ahead, Swamper. Please don't jail me, Sergeant Preston. Please don't lock me up. Still's the place for a thief, Swamper. Sergeant Preston, I want to talk to you. I heard you were in there, Taggart. It's illegal. Save it. I'll get to you in a few days. I want to ask questions about the bank robbery in Dawson and a few other crimes. Constable, here's another prisoner for you. So I see. What's wrong, Swamper? What did you do? I didn't mean nothing wrong. I took some cash from the till at the cafe, but I had to pay it back, honest to would. You stole some money? Well, I... Put him in there with Taggart, Constable. If you say so, Sergeant. Taggart, you get over in the corner. I'm unlocking the door. Cover them while I handcuff the prisoners together. Handcuff us? Oh, no, you can't do that. Taggart... I haven't forgotten that you were in jail several years ago and that you escaped two or three times before you finally served out your sentence. You try another escape, you won't get far because Swamper Grundy will slow you down. Please don't handcuff me to that crook. It's bad enough being in the same cell with him. Sorry, Swamper, but this way Taggart won't be able to get away. Unless he takes a Swamper with him. No one puts handcuffs on prisoners when they're in a cell. 
You can't do it, Preston. Sergeant, the law gives a policeman a great deal of latitude in the Yukon Territory. I'll take that on. No use, Whopper. There. Preston, when I get out of here... That may not be for some time, Tigers. Unless your friends come to town and break the door. Oh, so that's it. You think you're using me to be the trap for my pals, eh? Well, it won't get you anything. I'm not admitting I got any pals, you see. You must have been trying to help someone when you shot at my dog. Who says I shot at your dog? I haven't time to discuss it, Saget. Lock the door, Constable. Right. Wait. Please don't leave me handcuffed to this crook. Please don't leave me here. Come on, Constable. I'll be safe until we're ready to question him further. Right, Sergeant. Right, Sergeant. First time in my life I was handcuffed. And in jail, too. I wasn't meaning no harm. I just wanted to borrow the money for a while. Ah, shut up, Swoopy. From now on, for the rest of my life, I'll, I'll be a fugitive from justice. After I escape from this jail, I'll have to stay in hiding. I'll be forever dodging the law. Yeah, a pack of dodging and hiding you'll do. Before you think of dodging the law, you better think of getting out of this calaboose. Before that, you got these bracelets to worry about. If only he hadn't put these things on me. Well, they're on me just as much as they're on you. Even these. It wouldn't be so bad if Preston had left the key to the handcuffs somewhere handy. What are you talking about? Jail door don't bother me, and neither would the handcuffs if the key was where someone could reach Listen, it. Listen, Swamper, why don't the jail door bother you? I, I have a friend, Taggart. I have a mighty good friend. And she'll never let me stay in jail, not by a jugful. What are you talking about? I'm not telling them all I know. Uh, you just wait and see what happens. Uh, you're just talking big. What girl would help you escape from jail? Well, it's not a girl, exactly. You said she. Well, it's a woman. Older than a girl, huh? Yeah. Are you talking about Morgan? How'd you know? Are you? Well, I... Speak up for <laughs> now. Oh, well... Don't hang my arm like that. The hands are worse. Are you trying to tell me that Ma Ogden is going to help you escape from this jail? Yeah. She told me to let Preston arrest me because it'd be easier than trying to outrun him. She said she'd come in the night and let me out. I won't be missed until morning, and by that time I'll have a good head start. But I, I, I never figured on being handcuffed. Well, Swamper, you needn't worry about the handcuffs. Well, I can't leave while I'm shackled to you. We'll leave together. No, it's no. It's more important to me to get out than it is to you. At worst, you'd get only a short jail term. Maybe ten days or so. But me, it, well, prison's got it in for me. You'll find charges of one kind or another to keep me here for three or four months. But I... Now, listen, Swamper. I have a friend who'll cut off these bracelets. Your friend lets us out of jail, and my friend lets us out of the irons. That's fair enough, isn't it? Well, I... What's more, you spoke of the worry of staying in the hiding for the law. I'll show you a fine place to hide out. We'll travel together, the two of us, you and me. Taggart brought his powers of persuasion to bear on Swamper Grundy and finally persuaded the little man to travel as a partner. From then on, there was little conversation. Into Taggart's face, there crept a look of cunning. Then he and Swamper dozed until midnight. Taggart was aroused by the creaking of the outer door. Hey, Swamper. Huh? What is it? Wake up, wake up. Someone's coming. Maybe it's Mog and... Here it is. Look through the bars of the door. Bob and approached softly in the dim light of a turned-down oil lamp. Swamper, you poor critter. I've come as I promised. Ma, did you bring a key? I told you I would. How'd you get it? Easy. I invited Preston and the constable to my place for a special meal of my cooking. Then I brought out the checkerboard. The two of them are playing checkers. Lafferty's coat was on a hook, so I took the key out of the pocket. I'll have it back before he misses it. I wouldn't do this for anyone but you, Swamper. Well, where's King? With Preston, of course. There you are, Swamper. Thanks, Ma. I'll never forget this. Hold on. Taggart can't leave with you. Oh, yes, I can. No. He has to, Ma. We're handcuffed together. Oh, I didn't figure on this. I, I, I don't want to let a man like Taggart You've out. got no choice. Come on, Swamper, let's travel. All right. Taggart fairly dragged Swamper from the cell. He paused only long enough to look for his gun in the constable's desk. Unable to find the weapon... He went into the night and hurried out of town. Wind rushed from the north, beating at the faces of the fugitives and clearing snow off rocky ground that showed no footprints. Swamper was quickly out of breath from the fast pace. I can't go so fast. Come on, Swamper. We've got to put a lot of space between us and the town before daybreak. You, you think they'll start after us at daybreak? They'll start as soon as they find us gone. That'll be when the customer brings breakfast. Do you think they'll find us? 
Once we reach my friends, we'll be all right. Don't you worry. We'll have sleds and fast dogs to travel with. We'll keep ahead of the law. We'll continue our adventure in just a moment. Say, kids, which would you rather do? Read about your favorite baseball team in the papers, or see a game on the screen, or be right in the ballpark, yelling for the players on your team, eating hot dogs, drinking soda pop, and having the time of your life. Golly, nothing beats the fun in a ballpark. Come out to the game now as guest of a major or minor league team. Walk right through the gate without paying a cent if you are 12 years or younger and bring mom or dad or another paying adult relative. You can now get a free baseball ticket right inside a package of Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice or Muffet shredded wheat. Or buy Quaker Paco 10 and get two free baseball tickets. Names of teams and dates are on every ticket. Get in on the fun. Right away, get a free baseball ticket package of Quaker puffed wheat or rice, Muffet shredded wheat, or Quaker Paco 10. Bring the whole family to the ball game. You'll all have a picnic. Now to continue. Swapper staggered on through the remaining hours of darkness. When he thought he must drop from sheer exhaustion, he saw a small fire gleaming in the gray dawn. There's the camp, Swapper. Yeah. Hey, boy! Uh, I see several men. Yeah, my pals. Hey, boy, wake up! It's in another moment, Taggart and Swapper were in a camp that was sheltered from wind and snow by overhanging rocks on the side of a cliff. Six men were in the camp. They quickly grasped the situation, and one produced a file. Uh, I get to work with that file. Hey, how'd you get handcuffed to this half pint thing? Preston uh, thought he played smart. He jailed me. Figured you boys would come to release me. He thought his dog would identify at least one of you. Namely me. Yeah, left to you. Did you kill that dog? No. Wish you had, boss. That dog will never forget he had a hold of my leg at the bank in Dawson. He'll never forget he got a rap on the head for it. I said you wouldn't get that dog. Uh, never mind showing how smart you are, Hutch. Get that handcuff off. It's filed nearly through. Yeah, I think I can break it now. Uh, that did it. Good work. Uh, we got to travel. How about tying on this bracelet off my wrist? I'm not forgetting you, Slumber. Boys, load the sleds and hitch the dog. As soon as we're ready to start, I'll take care of the Swamper. What do you mean by that, Taggart? I'm sorry, Swamper, but we can't take you with us, and I can't risk leaving you. You might be found and tell about me traveling with these men. Uh, what are you going to do with me? We'll have to shoot you. Taggart held a gun on Swamper while the other members of the gang loaded three sleds and hitched three teams of dogs. And then, when everyone was ready to start on the trail... Taggart said, no, Swamper, this is it. Please, Taggart, please don't kill me. You'd never have been free if it hadn't been for me. I'm grateful to you. Does that make you feel any better? You promised to let me travel with you. Well, it's my business. A man makes lots of promises he can't keep. Please leave me alive. I promise I won't say anything about you being with these men. I won't tell about loading all that cash on us, lad. I can't take chances, Swampy. You'd break your word the same as I broke mine. Now then. While Taggart stared at a broken arm, the rest of the gang was unbalanced by the surprise of a shot from behind a nearby rock. The next instant, a dog appeared. Sergeant Preston was not far behind the great dog. King charged toward Lefty as Constable Lafferty came from behind the rocks, holding a revolver in each hand. It's King. It's Sergeant Preston. That dog's coming for me. Get him. If get anyone him. goes for a gun, I'll break his arm. You won't get me, Preston. I'll... Sergeant Preston's bullet sent the outlaw's gun spinning from his hand. Constable Lafferty fired from his position near the rocks. Those shots were just a warning. You're covered, all of you. Meanwhile, King had closed in with a final leap at Lefty. Lefty fell. In a flash, the mighty dog was over him, guarding him with fangs exposed. You men, drop your guns. Yeah, all right. Keep an eye on them, Lafferty. Right, Sergeant. Are you all right, Swamper? Sure thing, Sergeant. I'm all right. Just tired from the mighty long walk. Oh, steady now. I got the rest of that handcuff off you. We were waiting behind that rock, but didn't want to move until the sleds were loaded. Wanted to be sure everything was packed. Uh, I was mighty scared for a time. Thought for sure Taggart would drill me before you stepped in. King, let that man up. He'll be taken care of. Let go! On your feet, Lefty. You'll oh. take care of him, Sergeant. Swamper, did you see what they did with their loose? Sure did. It's on that sled right yeah, there. You oh. double crush You there. shut up, Taggart. <laughs> this whole thing was a plan to get you and your gang. Yeah. I was working for the law from the time I was locked in jail. Well, That'll do, Taggart. What about my arm? We'll dress it before we take it to town. 
What'd you find there, Sergeant? Stolen cash. Some of it checks with the numbers from the bank at Broughton. I think we've found the loot from several robberies. Swamper, you've done a fine job. Yes, Sergeant. I was proud to work with you and King. Swamper, you've earned yourself a reward. Oh, I, I don't want a reward for helping my friend King. You'll find a use for it. You might share it with Ma Ogden. Huh? I'll do it. Uh, any question about having evidence against these crooks, Sergeant? Not the slightest. We'll be able to tie them into several crimes and tiger it along with them. Lafferty, I'm sure we'll be able to report to headquarters that this case is closed. <laughs> Sergeant Preston will return in just a moment with a word about our next exciting adventure. Here's a mutual note for you. Mutual is a network that has programs you can enjoy throughout the week. If you like question and answer fun, then you'll find there are all sorts of quiz programs you can listen to on Mutual. You can try and outguess the contestants and see if you know the right answer before they do. Even if you don't know, it's loads of fun listening to others. And you can learn a lot at the same time, too. And some of you boys and girls probably have favorite songs and favorite singers that you like to listen to. When you tune into Mutual, you'll hear many of the stars you like best, singing and playing the kind of music you enjoy most. Don't forget, too, there are programs of outdoor adventure and others of barn dance music and jamboree. There's plenty of good listening waiting for you on your Mutual dial. Tune in every weekday afternoon for Mutual's famous programs, especially designed for adventure lovers. And remember to listen other times as well for different kinds of programs you like over most of these stations. Sergeant Preston reported to headquarters for orders from Inspector Conrad. Sergeant, Cub West and his gang of killers are heading north to the Bellary Flats region. Corporal Buckland patrols that area, sir. That's right, Sergeant. I want you to go to Bellary Flats. Warn Buckland that those killers are in his territory and help him get them. I'll do my best, sir. When Sergeant Preston reaches Bellary Flats, Corporal Buckland has already been murdered, shot from ambush by Cub West. The killers know that Sergeant Preston is on their trail, and they're determined to stop him with a bullet. Be sure to hear this next exciting adventure. These Sergeant Preston of the Yukon Adventures are brought to you every Monday through Friday at this time by the Quaker Oats Company, makers of Quaker Pop Wheat and Quaker Pop Rice, the delicious cereals shot from guns. By special recording in cooperation with the Mutual Broadcasting System. They are a copyrighted feature of Sergeant Preston of the Yukon Incorporated. Created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated, and directed by Fred Flowerday. The part of Sergeant Preston is played by Paul Sutton. This is J. Michael wishing you goodbye, good luck, and good health from Quaker Pop Wheat and Quaker Pop Rice. So long. This is Mutual, radio network for all America.